Ali Vayez is a senior Iran analyst for the International Crisis Group. He told me how important Soleimani is for Tehran and that his death could lead to a full-blown war between the U.S. and Iran. He was definitely the most significant and important uh, military leader in Iran, uh, not just uh, in the past four decades, but uh, probably in, in, in many, many uh, decades and uh, if not centuries. Uh, he's the man who uh, extended Iran's influence way beyond its borders uh, by developing what the Iranians call a forward defense policy, which is based on uh, recruiting partners and proxies uh, away from Iran's border to de deter direct attacks on Iranian soil. He's the mastermind of it. He was the one who uh, developed deep uh, connections and networks throughout the region, from Lebanon to Iraq to Syria to Yemen to Afghanistan. Uh, and he was the one who was uh, instrumental in fighting also uh, Salafi jihadists uh, like uh, al-Qaeda uh, or uh, the Taliban uh, or um, uh, uh, the ISIS uh, in Iraq and Syria. Iran's foreign minister said this was dangerous, it was foolish, and the country have vowed revenge. How serious is this? How close are we to war, you could say? You know, Iran is uh, not a failed state. Iran is a very powerful country. It has a network of proxies and partners around the region. Uh, it can go after U.S. and U.S. allies' interests uh, all the way from Yemen to Saudi Arabia to the UAE uh, to Iraq to Lebanon to Syria to Afghanistan. Um, and a conflict with Iran, a real all-out war with Iran, uh, would make conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq look like a walk in the park. Previous presidents deliberately didn't take this course of action because they feared the repercussions, and you've hinted at what some of those might be. If this did escalate further into war, as you suggest, what kind of support would the U.S. actually have? I think the U.S. would be largely alone in this conflict with Iran. Uh, U.S. allies might uh, pay lip service, uh, but the reality is that the uh, U.S. Uh, and the Trump administration has done everything in its power in the past few years to provoke the Iranians. They withdrew from the nuclear deal. They imposed crippling sanctions on Iran. Uh, they designated the Revolutionary Guards as a foreign terrorist organization. They even designated Iran's foreign minister. Um, and, uh, you know, and now this assassination uh, which, as you said, uh, Soleimani has been in U.S. crosshairs uh, many times in the past. But uh, you, previous U.S. administrations calculated that uh, from a cost-benefit uh, perspective, uh, killing him doesn't really make sense. All right, Shalom Akim. We the brothers from the SF Barry camp on our way to the battlefield to teach this word, bringing, bringing to you another in-transit lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Awashai. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. I'm the brother Manatazak, and I got with me. I'm Shamar. I'm Wagabar. I'm the brother Yari Allah. You know, we're just going to jump right into it. Like the scriptures say, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And like the elder apostle deemed this year, what, 2020, which is a whole new decade, which brings in a whole nother spirit. 2020, what, the year of prophecy? And you can clearly see in the media, prophecy is booming, you know? You got, um, you got something? No, I was going to uh, add, uh, a brother can bring out Jeremiah, what, 28 and 8, I believe? Uh, uh, you know, because that's the time that we're into. Uh, uh, that's the time that we're in. Mm -hmm. That's the topic of uh, discussion, you know, this week with this whole, um, with this whole Iran um, um, ordeal, you know, what happened with the U.S. on the command of, of uh, DJ Trump uh, sending a drone attack, uh, I believe, in Baghdad, which we're going to get into, okay? And it, it ended up killing one of Iran's top generals, you know, very respected, highly regarded, all right? And, and, that, and that's, that's uh, uh, opened a whole can, uh, can of worms, so to speak, man, all right? They're over there press, uh, protesting Iran right now, man. They're, they're pissed off. These other uh, nations, EU, all right? They're cursing out the U.S. over this, all right? Israel, of course they're happy, the, the, um, the rats over there. Net and you're not a Jew, all right? This guy, this guy's uh, backing it up because really the U.S. is making these moves on, on behalf of these rats, you know, these fake Jews. And their hatred that they have towards Iran, which is really all tying into prophecy, you know? Which we're in, what, the year of prophecy? Brother can bring it out real fast, Mr. Show. Yes, uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me, and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries, and against great kingdoms, of war, and of evil, and of 
pestilence. And that's what you've been seeing us doing from our bosses on down for the longest, you know, especially, um, you know, dealing with World War III. It's been, we've been speaking on it and having the signs up out there on the highways and the hedges for the longest time. And everybody was taking it as a light thing. And now they're actually seeing that, um, you know, it's real, basically. And that's like the scripture says, nothing but war, evil, and pestilence that's coming here. And you can see the war that's going to go down in a moment. All right. And the evil is on its way here. And the pestilence is on its way here. Yeah, that's right. So the Lord always set up prophets on the scene every time uh, um, a kingdom, uh, before a kingdom was going to uh, be taken down, the Lord would set up his messengers, the prophets, to what? To prophesy the, the downfall the of that kingdom. All right. Which this, which this, today's time is no different. Today's kingdom being what? America, Esau's, Esau's kingdom. All right. In which the Lord has set up his prophets, whether you, whether you want to uh, uh, receive it or not, you know, which are, which are the men of great millstone from the apostles and elders on down. All right. You know, and it says that in Ezekiel 33 and 33. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah. Ezekiel 33 and 33. This cometh to pass, mm -hmm. lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Yeah, and it said, lo, it will come, because it, it's, it's the word, will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it is going to happen. You know, we're, we very, we've been assured of that. All right? And it's being proven that it, the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai are true because you see it going down. All right? And it's, it's further, and it's further on proven who the true men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai are. All right? That's why you see Esau trying to, um, demonize us and get us get our videos taken down and stuff because everything that we say is accurate yep. it's coming to pass there ain't nobody who else out there that was talking about world war three and then it's actually it's actually um going down basically like getting ready to happen mm -hmm. i got a precept it's Habakkuk chapter two verse three okay. for the vision is yet for an appointed time but that but at the end it shall speak and not lie yeah, at the end, at the end, it's, speak, it's speaking, not lying. We're at the end, all right? Because the scriptures say, "This word shall be uh, preached throughout the four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come." So we are. It's, it's more than evident that we're at the end, and, and that's why you see the prophecy speaking, as well as this year being deemed the year of prophecy. It says, "Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry." Yeah, and it's not the last thing it's doing now is tarry, all right? We see literally you see everything going down. Mm -hmm. The prophecies are not tearing, and that's like they, they're right there in your face. If you're standing upon your watch, you can clearly see everything going on. And that's where that, that patience uh, uh, kicks in as well. You know that patience, that patience, uh, it pays off. All right, to, it pays off to be long suffering and, and to be patient and to wait on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because these these prophecies what we're, these words that we're bringing out they're coming to pass man it tells you in Isaiah uh, I believe the 55th chapter man the words of the Lord don't go out void man all right so these words are prop, uh, are prospering the prophecies are manifesting man so so hey for you guys that went back into the world all right you turned your back on, on the heavenly father on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai what you niggas gonna do because these prophecies are coming to pass man Esau gonna roll on you too all right, because this kingdom is gonna go down, whether rather you uh, 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 you choose to believe it or not. All right, Romans three and three. What if son don't believe this? Hey man, it don't it don't make uh, uh, the prophecies a uh, uh, nail and void to none effect, man. All right, the Lord don't need your faith for these uh, uh, for for His words to come to pass. Okay, Precept? yeah. Is you done with Yeah, that was it. It's, uh, Ezekiel twelve and twenty six. Hmm. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he sees <laughs> is for many days to come. Yeah, that's what these guys are saying, man. Hell, Second Peter the third chapter, you know, in the last days that should come scoffers, yeah. you know, saying saying uh uh, uh we're, matter of fact we might have to grab that next, man. All right, because hey, because that's what that's what uh, uh these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans say, chiefly those that that once put their hands to the plow. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that that that's not that prophecies, man. That's gonna happen. In another generation, not in my lifetime. All right, that that vision is is, is the far off. All right, no, that vision is, is here and it's clear, man. It's, it, we're we're in that time. That's right. Yeah, man. America, man, can very well be destroyed this decade. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. And you seen like how how fast that things um how things switched up towards um just in one year, you know, 2019. Leading into um, the new decade, you see how how much was going on just in one year alone. So it shows you that 
a lot can happen in a decade yep. or even a year, you know? Right, right. But shit, look what happened within the first four days. Yep, yep. exactly. You know? Ooh, just just on the um, with the uh, the new moon, mm-hmm. you know, coming in on the, on the new year, the new decade. There was a, a solar a solar eclipse, man, seen in the Middle East, you know, which we understand that to be a, a signs signs of the other times as well, man. Mm-hmm. And what surely happened a couple of days after this whole Iran ordeal, man, you know. So this thing, I mean, this thing is picking up speed, man. Yep. Well, look how much it has picked up since Esau started this whole anti-Semitic good, bullshit. Good. Yep. You know, since he yep. basically been painting us as the uh, the terrorists, you know, basically <laughs> setting up to persecute the prophets. Mm-hmm. You know, because he's setting up to make his move. So what? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to checkmate his ass. God. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, but Ezekiel 12 and 27, it says, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, mm-hmm. and he prophesieth of the times that are afar off. Yep. And that's how people, that's how our people felt about it, like, that's not gonna happen in our generation. Like World War Three ain't gonna happen. That would be like later down the line or something. Yep. yep. Now all the things that we be speaking about, now it's happening. Like like the scripture say in Matthew, this generation shall not pass until all those things be fulfilled. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Verse twenty eight says, "Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Power. Appreciate it. There shall none of my words be prolonged any more." But the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord power. Yeah, and they're not being prolonged anymore. They're being done. They're happening. Yep. All right, the Lord, is, he's speeding up the times. Time been going by fast for everybody. Now he's, speed, he's speeding up the prophecies, making them happen. Yep. That's right. Yeah, I, got, I got a precept. That was it on that? Yeah, that was it on that, bro. This uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 45. Okay. My people, go ye out of the midst of her. And deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. Yeah, that's right. And how do you do that, man? Micah 2 and 10. Right. Depart from, this, from, the, from the ways of this world, because this place is going down, all right? And those of our people who are cleaved unto this place, who, who are, are, are covering themselves in the covering of Babylon, all right? You're, you're partaking in all this wickedness. You're with this. You're not saying, you're not crying, like it says in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. All right, guess what? You're gonna be you're gonna be destroyed and condemned along with Esau and his, and his society, man. Mm-hmm. All right, well, you you supposed to be repenting towards Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, seeking the Lord while he may be found, because the Lord is about to withdraw his his mercy. Those door those doors of mercy are about to be closed. The Lord is about to pull his men off the highways and hedges. The Lord is about to shut the internet down, man. While you niggas are lollygagging and and, and scoffing and, and into folly, making memes and yeah, think yeah. it's a game, man. The Lord is about to pull the plug, man, on everything, you know? It says, Unleash your heart faint, and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. And that's what niggas are doing. Niggas are bugging out. You know, right now they're making light of it, but really they're scared, all right? They're hoping that that, that, that war don't don't be started. But guess what? War is, is inevitable. It's prophecy, man. It's going to happen. It's all right. It's already been started. It just has, yeah, yeah. It has to it has, play out. Yep, yep. Missiles haven't been shot yet. Mm-hmm. Sanctions have already been drawn. All right. Uh, ali- uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, uh, alignments have already been made. Uh huh. Yep. You know. This, go ahead. It's not gonna be like World War One and World War Two. Nope. You know. Matter of fact, can I get a precept? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's the one. Yep. <laughs> you good? Scared. Isaiah nine and uh five. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Mm-hmm. And it's already been going down like that with, um, like the brother was reading on the article about how they attacked Iran. Oh, they get into they, it. They, yeah. they, they, they not going over there and um, fighting with swords or anything. They can just send drones. They can shoot missiles. That's the um, the day and age that we're living in. Yep, yep. Where that's how it's going to be with the burning and fuel of fire. Well, it's saying the scripture, America, scriptures, America is going to be destroyed in one hour. Mm-hmm. So this isn't, this isn't going to play along as uh, guns being shot and you know like hand to hand combat and shit. Yeah, those those type of wars draw out, man. Those, yeah. those wars are lengthy. You know, uh, although it may start off like that, right. yeah, as, yeah. as conventional war, they have their troops over there. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's going to escalate to where they like, fuck it, we just got to nuke this place. Uh, you know? This is about like setting sanctions and doing things like that. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. we've been in we've been in World War Three for a minute now. Yep. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's just getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, because all, all the nations are seeing and calling America's bullshit. They see that, yeah, you cause you cause false um charges, you know, you cause false attacks to justify yourself in, entering into a land so you can take over their, their their leadership. They see they see the US and they see them, them rats, uh, and, and, um, them, them so-called Israelis, as a threat to, uh, to world peace. Uh-huh. All right, 
you know so it's coming to a point where they just gonna have to take you off the game off the map man yeah. you know that's the lord is putting that spirit on them yeah. you know well that's that's spiritual because in revelation the sixth chapter says he'll take peace from the earth yeah. so this yeah. nigga is the cancer of the earth he yeah. is the reason why peace won't you know won't abide yeah, yeah. yeah war has been war it's been non-stop war since this devil has has uh inter uh, uh power man yeah. you know that's why the Lord is moving. The Heavenly Father is moving the chess pieces ultimately to lead you to your own destruction. That's right. This is back in Jeremiah 50, 51, verse 46. At least your hearts faint, and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year. That's the spirit. And, and after that, and another year shall a rumor come. Yeah, just like it says in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, man, that's the times that we're in. Letting us know. That we're right, we're right at the gate of this thing, man. We should hear rumors of war, okay? Earthquakes in diverse places, okay? Uproars of the people. Where we've been seeing all that, man. All that play out. It's it's just at a point of of escalation now, man. You know. In another form of it being a rumor, mm -hmm. one year and after that another. It's us constantly yep. coming out yep. to the highways and the byways with the exact message every week. Yep. It's, it's like we got it on repeat. Every week we preach the same message. How long was Noah out there prophesying about the same thing? 150 years. You know, but did it not surely come to pass? Uh -huh. You know, that's why it tells you, hey, like I said, it's the sake of Peter, the third chapter. That's why it refers to the days of Noah and today uh, and, the, and that destruction by water. And then today's time, how the Lord is going to destroy this place by fire, man. Uh -huh. You know, it says, at least your heart faint for it. It says faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be rumored that shall both come one year yep. it says it's like let me read that again at least your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land a rumor shall both come one year and after that in another year shall er, shall come a rumor that says and violence in the land ruler against ruler so eventually it's not going to be a rumor eventually it's going to be violence in the land that's what we're seeing over there with that uh, attack with president your president DJ Trump uh, um, authorizing an attack, killing a top Iranian general. But that's a declaration of war. You know, we, you, we got yeah, an article yeah, yeah. we can get into. It's the, time. Um, the title was kind of cut off. But yeah, it, I, I can read it right here. Yep. Yeah, All right, so the, um, this is off uh, the, the hill.com. The title reads, uh, Waste Deep and Sinking in the Middle East. We're now at war with Iran. It says, the question of war with Iran is now settled with President Donald Trump's decision to authorize the U.S. military to execute General uh, uh, Qasem Sal Salamani, commander of Iranian forces throughout the Middle East. The United States is at war with Iran, whether the White House acknowledges it or not. Yeah, so whether they acknowledge it or not. They, this, this is the act of war. You killed one of the Iran's top generals, and this guy had a very heavy influence in the land of Iran. Yep. You know, uh, moving things. You know. Yeah. And the reason they attacked him is because they suspected of him having uh, war plans on attacking them. So to prevent World War, the World War Three, they had, they killed him. But that's 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 you know you can't never trust anything the white man tells you. you can't you can't trust nothing he says. We know there's a bigger agenda. The elites want that new world order. They have to conquer that Middle East area, and that's one of the lands they need to conquer is that Iran area. Yep. You know? Got it out. Without a doubt, Iran will respond to the execution of Sal uh, Salamani with deadly force. The question will be where and when. And you got to question that because, you know, when things like this happen, they immediately uh, have uh, emergency UN councils. They all, all the nations meet up to see how they can de-escalate the situation. Mm -hmm. They know how deadly things can get. So America could very well use this as, a, as an opportunity to create a false attack. Yep. Mm -hmm. Say, look, Iran, we have to go to war, you know. Them false Jews lead America into the Third World War. Who knows how it's going to play out? But we know, according to the scriptures, it's going to happen. Yeah, because different, um, different places have already put... Um, um, put uh, uh, their cities in, in high alert, play, I believe like New York, yep, yep. all right, I believe the mayor uh, uh, put their put that place in, into high alert, you know, extra security, I believe LA, you know, different prominent areas in, in America, and hell, over there in Israel, you know, that rat, that rat Netanyahu, he, I believe he was on a business trip or some shit, he had to fly back immediately, and he put his, he put that area on, on high security alert, man, because of what just happened, so like the brother's saying, it's not far-fetched for a false flag to a uh, narrative to be painted 
and go down out there in Israel or out here uh, in Babylon, wherever, man, or both at simultaneously. And then I, w I was watching a, um, a news clip where they were saying if if, if, a, if Iran was facing America a clip alone, they was just Iran versus America. They say sure, clearly Iran would lose. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, Iran is getting backed by hot, top powers: Russia, China. Uh, you know? Ezekiel, yep, that's uh -huh. Ezekiel thirty-eight. It actually mentions Iran uh, in there. Being a, a, a being a guard, being a, um, a guard. Russia being a guard, being a guard unto, unto them. them. Yeah, we can get that too. Yeah, yeah yep. it's a spirit. Yep, so, yeah, uh, yeah. You got it out. Okay, it says. Um, the Iran-sponsored attack on the U.S. embassy in Baghdad and the military attack that killed uh, Soleimani are acts of war that make the nature of the relationship no longer an issue. Mm -hmm. This war, uh, this war is not, and is, and is unlikely to be in the future, a conventional war as American political and military authorities would prefer. It will continue to be inter uh, in internationally political, unconventional, and a. a, a, a Asymm asymm uh, asymmetric. In Iraq alone, Trump, the Trump administration will be fighting this war in a vulnerable position with 5,000 isolated American troops on the ground, supported by air and naval power in the region, and an embassy fortress in Baghdad surrounded by Iranian and other enemies. But that vulner uh, vulnerability does not mean the war will be centered in Baghdad. Mm -hmm. Today, the U.S. is at war with a capable and difficult adversary that has uh, options to attack Americans and U.S. interests in unexpected ways around the world. The United States is not tiptoeing into a Middle Eastern quagmire. It is waist deep and sinking. Mm -hmm. it says the American en entanglement in Iraq did not begin with Donald Trump, although he, was, he has made it significantly worse. In a historically uh, catastrophic decision, the George W. Bush administration used a false uh, rationale that Sa Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction to invade Iraq in, in 2003. Mm -hmm. Yep, because it's been going on. Yep. Scripture said the Lord must have the host of the battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so the Lord been prepping this war, man. Yep. yep. You know, Donald Trump is just a puppet, man. He's just doing he, he's just doing what he's supposed to do, man. Yeah. He, he just adding on to what this devil's already started. Yep. yep. That's right. With this misguided adventure promoted by Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld and Vice President Richard Cheney as unfinished business from the first Gulf War, the U.S. immediately became bogged down in Iraq and given military priority to, to the invasion and occupation of Iraq after the 2001 attacks on the U United States. The Bush team neglected requirements in Afghanistan, where the 9-11 attacks were actually planned. Yeah, I see the telly right there in yeah. the article. Yep. It's because it's well known that that shit was fake. It was a yep. false flag a narrative. False flag. So so what? To, to um to for them to go go into Iraq, man. Yep. And then after that what came after that they um they created the Patriot Act. Yep, so what, did. Yep. What, what did they so just did. do this December? They um yep. Yep. they extended the yep. Patriot yep. Act. Yep. Kind of. Kind of. Why, it's not a coincidence all this is happening at once. A mm -hmm. Patriot Act is what for them to um for them to um, protect the homeland against homeland terror. Mm. Who, who's 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 the per people that they're putting in the media as the new terrorists? Us. Jake. You know? yep, yep. We, we we see you devil's plans, you know? Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Yeah, you got it. Same thing Esau trying to do with um in Iran, he's trying to do to us. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, create a false narrative so he could basically act like he's fighting against terrorism the whole time. He's the fucking terrorist. Yeah, and, and all the nations, because that's why I said you're gonna do something stupid to where every nation on the planet Earth is gonna turn on you and shoot their missiles on you. Yep. You're going to just do something that's bad. Even your own allies going to be like, man, fuck, we got to get this, these people out of here. You know? yep. So you already doing it. It's going to be the last straw when that happens, man. You know, they can't, they can't co-sign everything yeah. you're doing. And that's when your house shot going to crack them clouds and you really going <laughs> to get it popping, you know? That's right. You got it. It says the result was ongoing secretary of security disasters, not only in Afghanistan, but across the Middle East. Later, the overconfident Bush team was shocked that pro-Iran, Iraqis won U.S.-sponsored uh, elections. It apparently failed to recognize that the population of Iraq was between 60 to 70 percent Shia um, Muslim and therefore inclined to support Iranian interests. As a NATO official in 2007, I traveled to Baghdad when NATO agreed to help train Iraqi security forces. After landing at the airport, we flew in a helicopter and an uh, evasive maneuver at treetop level to the green zone 
a gigantic fortress in Baghdad where the U.S. activities were most concentrated. Likewise, in my last visit to Kabul, Afghanistan in 2008, security required that Americans and NATO officials also fly the mile or two from the civilian airport to the NATO secure area in the capital. The security of the road of road travel in both cities could not be guaranteed following years of military and economic uh, assistance. Freedom of, of movement is the most critical factor in uh, uh, evaluating success in any conf uh, conflict area. From my experience in Vietnam and elsewhere, the U.S was losing badly in both Iraq and Afghanistan from 2008. Since 2008 and coming, U.S. administrations have struggled without success over how to withdraw from both uh, countries. Mm -hmm. What is lacking today from the Trump administration policy is any sign of a regional strategy for dealing with Iran and the growing American isolation in the Middle East. Now that this war is underway, how do he and his generals plan to, uh, to fight and prevail against Iran? What are their political and military goals and objectives of American policy? How does this war end? I cannot imagine how Trump can now achieve his avowed goal of withdrawing from endless wars in the Middle East as um, a far more likely scenario is that the U.S. military will ask for additional forces in the region to defend ex existing troops on the ground and to respond to future attacks. Mm -hmm. and that's the spirit, because that's, that's the other art article you actually have. Yep, yep, yep. You know, um, it says, it says U.S. to send 3,000 troops to the Middle East after embassy attack and Soleimani killing, mm. you know, which uh, we was just reading this other article. Um, I'll go back to the other article. It says, um, where, the, where was that point? Yep. A far more likely scenario is that the U.S. military will ask for additional forces in the region to defend existing troops on the ground and to respond to future attacks. And that's what they actually did. Yep. They just they just sent 3,000 troops over to the Middle East after this whole scenario happened, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So this guy in this article, he's 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 pretty much he's pretty much show, um, telling you that Esau been doing the same old two-step for years, man. Yeah, you know? Shit. The same shit, the same scenario, same narrative. You got it, bro. Why? Because he's singing to the Lord's tomb. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. He's singing to the Lord's tomb, man. Uh -huh. All these people, you like, he, from the article, you can see everybody's uncertain. They're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, here it is. We have the answers, you know? Yeah. That's right. We're the real news. We're yep. the real the Lord, news, man. The Lord is leading you to your destruction. <laughs> you know, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. That's yep. right. Yep. I, I got a precept. Kind. It's 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 15. Verse 20, 28, behold in horrible vision hmm. and the appearance thereof from the east, the Middle East. Yep. It says, when the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots hmm. and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Talking about that Middle East area, the nation of the dragons of Arabia is talking about all those Middle Eastern countries coming together. That's right. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they, they see the same scenario over and over. You so-called white people, Esau, the devil, comes over there with a false narrative to take over their resources yep. and, to put, and, and to destroy their people. Yep. They catch nothing but... They say, look, <laughs> we see Syria fucked up. We see Iraq fucked up. So we, Iran's looking at it like, we ain't going to let this happen to us. Yeah. We're going to stop this right, right here and now. Mm -hmm. And they got, what, Russia behind them. They got China behind them. They got big countries, North Korea behind them. You know, you tried to go over there, President Trump, making allies with North Korea, he going to shoot missiles on you too. That's you right. Know? That's right. It says, also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Mm. The Carmanians represents the Iran, Iran's, yep. Iranians, you know, That's right. which, are, which are also known as the Persians. Mm -hmm. right. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them so they're all going to join together as one. Mm. And shall waste a portion of the land of Assyria. Mm. What's the land of Assyria? That's talking about America. So this thing is going to get heated up to where a portion of America, before the full destruction comes, some parts of America is going to get touched. Yep. The scripture says I will go, and, go into the land of the unwalled villages. Where uh, pretty much there's never been a time where actual war touched here on the soils of America. But we're in a time where the Lord is going to bring the war to the soils of America, you know? Yep. It says, uh, also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars. What's the, what, what is Ishmael known for, being a wild man? Yeah, yeah it says, um, 
then he will uh, remember his nature, uh-huh. you know, for me as what? As being a wild man. As the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and shall join battle with them, and they shall waste a portion of the land of Assyria, and they, and then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. Their yep, nature. yeah, the spirit right that's there. Yeah, that's yep, it, yep. Yep. <laughs> their nature was when um when um what was it um it was Ishmael's mother um what was her name Katura? Mm. No, 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 no. It was um, Slaki. It was um. Ha- uh, it escapes me right now. We'll, we'll look yeah. it up to get it, get it uh, on wanna, point. Ha- um, it's with an H, I believe. Hagar? No. Genesis? I believe so. We'll, we'll I mean, look, yeah, we'll, we'll get it right. Just to get the, the full understanding. Mm-hmm. Because uh, well, it was Abraham, and um, Abraham sent her away, and then the angel um, gave her the blessing yes, of her son. Hagar. Yeah, Hagar. Right. Yep. Come, come. Yep. Hagar. Sent their way, and then she got the blessing of her son and said, Ishmael shall be a wild man. Matter of fact, you might as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Since we're right That's there. the spirit. spirit. Uh huh. Um, uh, let me see where's a cool port to, um, to, to start it. Uh, we, we just get to, get to the point. point, yeah. This is uh, Genesis 16 and, and 11. Mm-hmm. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child and shalt bear a son. And shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord have heard thy af- thy affliction. It says in he, uh, verse twelve, and he will be a wild man. And he will be a wild man. So that goes back to them remembering their nature that I'll, they're wild. I'll finish the verse. You got it. And he shall, and he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Mm-hmm. Right there, dead set in the Middle East. Yep, yep. And what, every hand is against him. <laughs> he getting bummed from here to everywhere. It says, and then, 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 31, and uh-huh. then shall the dragons have the upper hand remembering their nature. It says, and if they shall turn themselves, conspire together in great power to persecute them, it says, then these shall be troubled and keep silence through their power and shall flee. It says, and from the land of Assyria shall shall the enemies besiege them and consume some of them, and in their hosts, it says, and in their hosts shall they shall be fear and dread and strife among their kings. You no, know? so it's going. It's the, the Lord is stirring up. He's mustering up the hosts of the battle in that in that area. Mm-hmm. I got a precept. This is Joel. Yes, man. Yep. <laughs> Joel chapter three, mm-hmm. verse nine. Pro- pro- proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Yeah, that's right, and that's what the Lord is doing to these um to these uh, heathen nations that's over there in the Middle East, and that's why. America just sent, what, 3,000 troops over there to the Middle East. That's why they have military bases all throughout the Middle East, man. All right? And that's why these, these uh, heathen nations, what? They're, everything is geared towards towards war, all right? Which is going to go into, it's all fulfilling prophecy. It's all fulfilling the will of Yahweh Shem Shai. Because it tells you in Exodus 15 and 3 that the Lord is a man of war. That's right. So the Lord is putting this, the spirit of war on these on these nations, man. Uh-huh. Yep. It says, let them... It says, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Hmm. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Mm-hmm. So instead of you investing your money into your agriculture, you, you've invested your money into your military. You know? And that's all you really, you don't really see articles about, oh, well, this country has invested this into their agriculture or, or any of that, man. You see multiple articles about them them uh, uh, spending spending money on different missile defense, yep, yep. different missile defenses, different uh, uh, artillery missiles, hypersonic missiles and shit. Uh, 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 you know, military military training. You know, all, everything geared towards war, man. Mm-hmm. It says, "Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hook into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong." Yeah, so these weaker nations, man, they're proclaiming their strength now. You know, nations like Iran, like the brother uh, mentioned. And then they're having the backing of, of, of bigger nations yep. like Russia, man. Mm-hmm. All right? You know, so, so they're, they're, they're uh, um, pretty much, man, it's, it's getting to the point where America's been a bully so long that these nations are fed up with it. The Lord the Lord's putting the spirit on them to fight back, man. Yeah. You know? 
and you got the um the people over there in Iran, they chatting death to America. Yep. Death to it. So and you see the um the women over there crying. Mm. So this guy, uh Salomon, he must have been a, a very well loved loved guy yep. amongst yeah. the, the people. The yep. people they you know? did look up to him. Yep. I was watching I was checking out the news this morning. They was um showing the regular civilians in and out there and there was everybody like everybody's mourning basically in the whole the whole um you know area and stuff. Because mm -hmm. everybody actually did look up to him. They said he was a basically like somebody to idolize, so to speak. Yeah. He didn't fear death. He was like, you know, always like, you know, handling stuff. He was just like a, a good a good man, so to speak, in their eyes. Mm -hmm. And so they was like, since he died, they not even related to the dude, but they're saying like since he died or whatever now we gotta we gotta do something like yeah they reverence like, them yeah they said if we don't do something like they gonna be mad so like they they, they waiting on their government to yeah, attack because yeah. they, they said everybody in the country they with it they was like yeah we bombing you motherfuckers like we getting y'all back ain't no like we ain't no like reasoning with it they like now nah, we gotta get our leg back yep. we ain't letting it slide yeah they burning flags screaming death to america in their language death to america mm -hmm. it says assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about Thip, thither caused thy mighty ones to come down. Yeah, it's talking about the angels, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're they're out there too. All right, uh, uh, making sure all these things, all the everything plays out accordingly, man. Yep. You know, the Heavenly Father's movie has a, yep. has a script and it has to be uh, played out to a T. Yes, yeah, right. So the angels are working on the minds of these leaders because ultimately this is happening because Yahweh yep. Shai in it. the heavens, in the fourth dimension, is giving the order and it's taking place. You know, mm -hmm. his elect. Are silk being silk pursuing the um revelations of seven chapter. Yeah. You know when they told the angels, hurt not the earth nor the sea to my servants of silk. Mm -hmm. That's right. Joel chapter two, three verse twelve. Let the heathen be weakened. Let the heathen be uh weakened. Wait, well, I think so, like, waking. Yeah, waking. Yeah. Let the heathen be wakened mm -hmm. and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there, yep. come, come. How was decision? How was judgment? Uh -huh. He's about to, he's about to say. Oh, yeah. that's, no, yeah, that's, that's like back what you're saying. It says, "For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about." Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, so we, <laughs> us, the Israelites, we all we got to do is sit back and watch the Lord work. This ain't our work. Okay. No, all we got to do is break it down. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah we, all we got to do is speak on it. All we got to do is broadcast the news, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. We just, you know? we just the messengers. We telling you what's gonna go down. We gonna sit back and watch the show. You know? That's right. You got these two third ass niggas making all these memes, uh, taking it as a joke. If y'all don't, if y'all ain't of that number, y'all gonna take part in this judgment. You know, this ain't nothing to be playing around with. This is mm -hmm. dead, deadly serious. You know. Yep. But the Lord is, is moving. It says, "Put ye in the sickle." It says, "Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get ye down, for the press is full." Mm -hmm. The fats overflow from their wickedness is great. Yeah, we're in that we're in the, we're in that season. You know, the the, the time is uh, the time is now. Mm -hmm. If you're paying attention to prophecy, you know, <clears throat> the brother was bringing out uh, Habakkuk the second chapter. Mm -hmm. All right, you know this this it's not tearing anymore. All right. It says multitudes, multitudes in the valley mm -hmm. of decision, <laughs> for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of the of decision. Mm -hmm. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of it says out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. You know, so as this destruction takes place, because really fuck these other nations, the right. Iranians, the yeah. uh, they, they, they are our enemies too. They going into slavery too. But the fact of the matter is, the Lord is using them to destroy each other. Yep. And then all we got to do is sit back, and Lord's will wait for the Yahweh Shah to return him and save us, clean us up. You know, the scriptures. Matter of fact, I just get it. Say when you see all these things come to pass, okay. lift up your heads. Uh, we can wrap up on you wrap up on that, come. Luke. Please. I got it. Oh, you got it, come. Yep. Say Luke, uh, twenty-one and twenty-eight. It says, And when these things began to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw off not. Yeah, when these things begin to come to pass, when we see the signs that have been prophesied in the, in, in, in the scriptures, lift up your heads because we know our salvation is near. You know, Yahweh Shai is coming. Yep. The last thing we need to look for is the final prophecy, which is that RFID microchip. Yep. Once they make that mandatory, we know Yahweh Shai 
any day can crack the clouds, you know? Yeah, that's right. We understand, like the Lord said, these things must come to pass mm -hmm. in order in order for what? For the kingdom to be established, man. Yeah. You know, America has to be destroyed in order for a, a righteous kingdom, for Yahweh Shai's kingdom, you know, for, for, for our kingdom, you know what I mean? The kingdom of Israel as being joint heirs to be uh, established. This devil has to be taken down. And that's what's going, that's what's going on right now, man. You know, these events have to play out. And, and, they're, and they're taking place as we speak, man. Uh -huh. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so with that, Lord's will, your brothers edified. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, 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 Ba'